Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and I am so excited to have you here. I hope you guys have had an amazing week and that you had a lot of great things happening to you. Um, I wanted to hop on here and do another purse unboxing. I know that you may get sick of those, but honestly, those are some of my favorite videos to watch and especially when it's a Disney purse, like nothing can top it. So. I really quickly wanted to share with you this bag. I haven't seen anybody talk about talk about this brand or this bag in particular across like any platforms at all, so I felt like it needed a moment on here and I wanted to share it with you because this was a very important purchase for me. So the brand is Harvey's, which I don't know if you guys are familiar or not. They do sell it at Disney World, I believe also at Disneyland. They have limited stock. It's not something that they have like a ton of different variations all the time. Um, but I do have one other bag by them and it is a Sorcerer Mickey backpack that I absolutely love. And so when I saw that they did kind of a classic Disney collection, I knew I was going to have to hop on the train. So it came in this like just plain box with like the pink um, tape around it. And it is a pretty basic box, so no need to show you everything inside. But I wanted to share with you, it comes with a Harvey's California sticker um, that has the little Mickey Mouse signature on it and Mickey in the corner. And then it comes with like a little kind of issue or paper issue for, um, for the brand. And then I wanted to do a reveal of the bag. So let me show you. So this is the crossbody bag. This is the, I believe it's the Mickey and Friends convertible clutch. Oh, it's the Disney patchwork pattern. Um, now this sold out super fast. Like you had to be like on there right when it went live and they had like four or five different variations. Like they had a backpack, they had a tote bag. Um, I think they had a couple more options and this is the one I wanted. I wanted the crossbody. And one of the really cool things about Harvey as a brand is that the material that they use to build the bag is like a seatbelt material. So it's very sturdy, very thick, and very hard and durable. So you really don't have to worry about like anything happening to the bag at all. And on this Patrick, to you know show you specifics, there's a Sorcerer Mickey. There's a little like love sort of Mickey and Minnie, um, another like Mickey and friends with like Donald and Pluto, and then like some classic Mickey black and white reels. I think it is such a cool bag. And then it comes with this little Mickey like zipper attachment um, that's all chain. So I don't know if you guys are able to see that, but there you go. It says Mickey. And then the zipper pull is a Mickey glove. And I love that the little top part is like a polka dot lining. Then inside, inside there are two pockets. There's one here and one there. And then it's just kind of an open space. But what's really cool about the inside of this is that it has like kind of Mickey Mouse written all over in like a gray and dark gray sort of um, sporadic pattern. And then it's Disney Harvey's. So. Um, I'm going to put the little crossbody strap on. So the crossbody strap is adjustable and it's just like a very simple kind of pull kind of adjusting um, style. And I also am just absolutely in love with it. I'm going to show you guys and model it for you so you can see where it hits on me. And I wish I knew what the price was. It doesn't say on the receipt, but if I can locate it, I will put it right here on the screen so you guys can see what I paid for it. It wasn't crazy expensive. It's pretty much in the same price point along with like like the Dooney and Burks and any other designer bags that Disney tends to work with, such as like Kate Spade. Um, etc. So I'm gonna really quickly put this on and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna transfer from my current purse to this purse, um, but I wanted to show this on. So again, for reference, I am 5'4", so not super tall, and this is where the current strap is set at. Now this is a little bit higher than my, you know, personal style. I usually wear this a little bit longer, but it hits me Right now it's above my hip, so if I'm going to adjust it, just pull. So I made it a little bit lower. This is probably where I would have it hit on me, just because I like it to be like kind of up front and like 
closer to my body, but not too low where it's like bouncing off my hip every time I walk, if that makes any sense. So that is what it looks like. I'm wearing a very basic blue outfit because I didn't want it to clash too, too much with the purse so you guys could truly see what the purse looks like. So let's stuff this baby and see how much it can fit. So I am somebody who tends to collect junk in their purse over time, so it won't surprise me when we find a ton of receipts and extra stuff in my other purse. So I, with designer bags from Disney, I usually hold on to like the tags like this and I'll just store it inside the purse. Just because in case you ever want to resell it, it's you know helpful to have that information and to have the original tag. Um, to refer to. So the bag I was currently carrying is actually this Longchamp crossbody feet leather styling. They also have this in the nylon, I believe, just not with the crossbody. And I'm putting this into retirement for right now. I have been using this nonstop since my birthday, which was in May. And it's just starting to get like some basic wear and tear on it. So I want to give it a little bit of a break, but this is an amazing bag. I absolutely love it. So back to reorganizing, and I actually think that I'm going to start from the beginning because I realized I have a lot more in here than I thought. So we need to reprioritize. <laughs> okay, so starting off, moving, I just moved everything out of my Longchamp bag that I'm putting in retirement and moving on to all the stuff that's in front of me I'm going to put into my bag. So the first thing that I have that are really important are medications. So I have Advil, I have my Dramamine because I get really bad motion sickness and some Pepto-Bismol because I feel like you can never be too careful with that. And I'm gonna put that into one of these little pockets here because it kind of fits perfectly with the height. And then also my chapstick will go in there as well. And then I have my car key, which is gonna go into the other pocket along with, I have a couple of feminine products. And I actually have these two little jewelry pouches which are gonna be in my purse because if I ever forget to like take something off when I'm going to the gym, it's always really great to have like something protective that you can put your jewelry in. This is really important. I also always need my tie to go stick. I am a complete slob. My husband makes fun of me for it, but it is what it is. I have a single band-aid because you can never be too careful. I, again, I'm a very, very clumsy person. The next thing I have is kind of weird, but I have individual toxic wastes. Um, I get, pretty bad anxiety and if you are on the verge of having a panic attack, one way to kind of like stop it in its tracks is by shocking your system and toxic waste or warheads are really good for that. So I have just a handful of these that I'm going to be putting in here. Um, so there's that. I have a couple of my favorite lip products. These are currently from Revolution, the Sofex lip liner and the Sofex lip balm. It was a set for, I don't remember what the color was called. No, I can't remember what it is, but I love Soph on um, YouTube. She's amazing. So if you haven't, if you don't know who she is, look her up. And then I love flavored water. So if I ever go to somebody's house or I needed some water packets, I always have them with me. I usually use the crystal light ones. Those are my favorite. And then I have my face mask, a hair tie, always important. My phone, which if you guys need a phone case, this is a quick shout out. I could do a complete like YouTube video dedicated to this, but the Get It Creations phone cases are to die for. If you are a Disney lover, they make the best designs. Highly recommend 100%. And then I have my card holder as well. And all of that fit in here. It's a little bit hefty. This is a thicker material bag. It's a little bit more durable, like I mentioned, so it's a little bit weightier. But everything fits in there and it's not like sticking out and bulging too much. I probably could have fit even more, but I think I would probably keep it at this limit. And isn't it surprising to see like how much from like these two different size bags, how much fits in here and how much went in here. It's the exact same amount, but that bag is way smaller, so it's crazy. But it does fit a good amount, all of your essentials that you may need. And I absolutely am excited and ecstatic to start using this. I'm going to literally carry this. I have some errands to run in a little bit. And this is the bag that I'm going to be bringing with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that you choose to join me here on this channel as a subscriber and a new family member to the Disney family. Um, and if you are interested in any of my other content, please go visit my channel. There's only a couple new videos on there. Um, this is a newer channel, so we are in development, but if you'd like to go support and watch those as well, that'd be amazing. And yeah, so I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I hope you have a fantastical Friday, and have a magical day. 
Bye, guys.